Hi, welcome to Ken's Games Collection. And finally, we have a release date for the Sega Genesis Mini 2. And I think Sega had no choice but to do this because what I read, it was leaked on Amazon America. So they had to scramble to get this thing all set. And there is the trailer for it. Uh, there isn't a release date for the European or the Australian version of this, which is the Mega Drive for some reason uh, in America. It was called the Genesis, and I think it was to do with some copyright uh, over there. But it's really cool, and let's go in to have a look at this. Okay, so the official release date is October 27, 2022, and it's exclusive to Amazon America. We'll touch on that a little bit later. Sega is saying that the uh, Genesis Mini is more powerful than ever. It has improved hardware tucked away inside of it, and it is so much more compact. Also, it comes with a six-button controller and is also backward compatible with the uh, Genesis Mini controller. Now, with the box art, I prefer the Japanese box art. I just think that looks so cool, so vibrant. It's just personal choice. Um, yeah, but that's what I prefer. But I'm so hyped for this thing. I can't wait to get it. Now, what's really great about this is there's going to be 20 Mega CD or Sega CD games on it. Uh, when you look in the comment section of the video that did the reveal trailer for the Western release of this thing, uh, a lot of people in there commenting that they want to see Snatcher released on this console. And if it does happen, it'd be such a cool selling point for them. There's so many fans out there that want that game. And if Sega does listen, if Sega can somehow get the uh, rights to release it on the Mini 2, it would be a huge selling point for a lot of uh, retro gamers. Now, like with the first Mini, Sega is actually showing us 23 games, which is odd because I thought they would do it in smaller batches, show 10 here, 10 there, but they decided to go with 23. It's just an odd number. It's not random. It's not rounded. It's just really weird, but that's what they're going with. This is definitely the largest collection of retro games to go on one of these mini consoles. And there's a never release bonus game on there as well. They did that the first time around with uh, Tetris, which was really great. Now, I've got to say, this lineup of 23 games that they're presenting is really good, um, especially this Mega CD stuff. I'm so looking forward to trying Sonic CD, Shining Force CD... Ninja Warriors for the very first time. I've never experienced those games before and that's going to be so great and that's what I'll probably start playing first. Uh, so great to see Afterburner 2 there. We have two OutRun games. Now when I did a video on my wish list, OutRun was in there so it's really great to see that one in there. Guys, just look at this list. Super Hang On, Shining in the Darkness, Bonanza Brothers, Rainbow Island, Splatterhouse 2, Rolling Thunder 2, these were such iconic games back in the day on the Genesis or the Mega Drive. And it's so great to see Sega going really hard with the uh, Western release of this. Now, I think it's a little bit odd to see Sonic 3D Blast. I thought we might have seen Sonic uh, and Knuckles or Sonic 3, but maybe they'll present those ones a little bit later on. But um, yeah, this is just... This brings back a lot of memories uh, of so many great games. And I just hope that they'll continue with this momentum with the Western release to, to present a lot of other amazing games. And to finish off these first 23 games announced, we have Lightning Force, Fantasy Zone, and also Star Mobile. Uh, wow, that's just incredible uh, lineup to begin with. So you just have to wait and see. If Sega's going to release another 10 games in a few months' time or a few weeks' time and build up their momentum right up to the release of this thing. I find it really interesting that in America it's an Amazon exclusive item. I don't know if they did that with the original Mini or not. And I really hope that if you order it online that the box will come to you in pristine condition. Otherwise, send it back because we know what Amazon's like even here in Australia. The Sega Genesis Mini 2 is going to retail for $103.80. I believe there's a $24 shipping fee on top of that in America. And this item cannot be shipped to my location here in Australia. And anywhere else in the world, it's just exclusive to America only. So if you're trying to get one through Amazon, forget it. Uh, the best bet is getting scalpers on eBay if you really want a Genesis. But just wait for the release in Europe and Australia for the Mega Drive. Okay, let's recap. 23 games announced, 
27 more to go. We've seen 6 Mega CD games or Sega CD games already, so we've got 14 more Mega CD games to go, and the rest is going to be uh, cart based games. Can we please get Quackshot on the many too please it's just something that i've been wanting is a game that a lot of gamers out there been wanting and we can only live and hope that we'll get it overall i'm really happy with what we're seeing here and i can't wait to see what comes next i think they'll do it in two different batches leading up to the release of it uh so yeah leave a comment down below what do you think about this this is something that is really cool and it's one of the best mini systems i've seen with so many games so available on the 28th of october bring it on sega i can't wait for this